Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past few video tutorials, we had created a Spring Boot application using uh, Eclipse. So in beginning, we have created a Maven based project manually in Eclipse and we had added uh, a Spring Boot related dependency manually in the pom.xml. After that, we had created a Spring Boot application using a Spring Initializer. So in uh, so if you go to the I mean website like a star dot spring dot io so that is called a spring initializer websites and there uh, you will have to specify some basic information like uh, artifact name uh, group name some like what versions sort of Java you, so you can say you have option to select Java 6 7 and 8 and uh, you need to select uh, some dependencies which is basically required uh, for your project and finally you create on the uh, finally you click on the generate project and you uh, get the zipped version of the project and you unzip it and finally you uh, import in your uh, favorite uh, id so i had imported in the eclipse and i have shown you so how to create a project a spring boot project using a spring initializer now third approach we are going to look using eclipse sts so sts is nothing but the that is called a spring tool suits right and this sts is very much similar to the eclipse itself so if you want to download a, a sts so here go to the google and try to type uh, uh, sts download right so once you type here then you can see the official website of sts so let's click on the this is the very first website let's click over here and you will be navigated to the STS website and saying that a spring tool suit and you have a different uh, OS uh, STS is available for the different OS so I am working on the Windows so let's click over here then you have a two zipped version right so one for the machine which is having a length 32 bits and second is for the 64 bit machine so I had downloaded zip this zip once you click on the zip then download will start so this zip already I have downloaded my machine is 64 bits so I have already downloaded this zip let me show you this zip so here I have downloaded uh, which is having the size around uh, somewhere around 397 MB and once you extract once you unzip then you will get the folder like this so STS bundle inside the STS bundle you will have to go to the STS 3.9.0 release and here you can you will have a something like the STS right seems like STS logo you will have to click over here click here twice and uh, uh, let's wait for the response now uh, I mean STS is getting open so let's wait for a few seconds uh, uh, STS has open now asking me to supply the location of my project so I don't want to create uh, uh, my workspace on this location instead I'm going to create a folder inside it I would say a spring boot work space and let's copy this location I would like to create work space on this location so STS is very similar to Eclipse itself so let's click on the launch and this now it is getting processed so here you can see the dot metadata folder is get created just like a Eclipse and let me close this location now now let's close this browser as well and this process will take few minutes now you can see the layout and everything it seems like eclipse itself right so let's wait for a few seconds now now you can see that you can see the dashboard here you can get a lot of information about the sts so let me close this and here in this video my agenda is to show you uh, how to create a, uh, a spring boot project using sts so here what i'll do uh, you have a different option so let's select the first option to create a spring boot application you will have to select a spring starter project and here uh, and you can see the service url that is still pointing to the uh, a spring initializer website right and here you need to specify the uh, name of the 
project so here i'm going to specify hello world and group name i'm going to specify com dot infotech and uh, package name i'm going to specify com dot infotech dot app infotech dot app and let's click on the next button now uh, if you have remember when we had created a spring boot application using a spring initializer then we had a different category to select different kind of dependency which is required for our project so one of the category was called wave so if you click on the wave then if you expand this one then very first dependency you have a wave so this one i am going to select and in this project i am not going to use any kind of uh, database interaction and all so i'm not going to select other dependency only i'm going to select wave so and after that let's click on the next and then click on the finish now after few seconds you will see a project will appear here so here you can see projects is getting appeared and now maven is started downloading all dependency from the uh, central repository and you can see the now project uh, has been created and you can see the project structure so com dot dot app package you can see a class a spring bootstrap class is automatically got added uh, just like a, a spring initializer right a spring uh, when we had created a project a spring uh, boot project using uh, initializer right a spring initializer so let's go to the windows preferences and let's increase the font size so font colors and fonts you can see this everything works like eclipse itself so when you have eclipse and you if you download i mean uh, sts plugin in your eclipse then that is almost equivalent to the sts itself so let's click on the uh, text font and here select bold and so specify the size as 14 okay then apply and apply and close now size seems to be better now what i am going to do i am going to create a controller a rest controller in the same package so let's create a class and class name i am going to specify hello uh, world controller okay and this class i am going to annotate as at the rate rest rest controller So I have annotated this class as a REST controller and let's add one uh, method public which is going to return as a mass string and I would say method name is welcome and this is going to return a simple string. And I would say Welcome to string boot. Simple string message and this mass this uh, ma method I want to expose to the outer world. So with URL, uh, so get mapping. Uh, I'm uh, going to use annotation get mapping and URL. I'm going to specify as slash welcome slash welcome now everything is set up now let's run this application so right click on this so here when you create a project a spring boot project using sts then you you can create right click on the project and uh, here run as you have an option is called uh, a spring boot app so let's click on this and uh, now your project is going to run now you can see the sts uh, console and here saying that tomcat is started on the port 8080 now let's open the browser and let's try to access this application now here you will have to type http colon slash slash localhost colon 
80 80 and your URI of your resource is welcome so slash welcome and you press enter then we get the response welcome to the spring boot which is coming from the uh, restful web service right so and this response is coming from the uh, this restful web service right so that's all I, I, I have kept this example as simple as possible because uh, in this uh, video just I wanted to show you how to use STS so uh, we have learned uh, almost uh, uh, all three approaches to create uh, a spring boot application so whichever is uh, suits for you as a developer then you can go for my favorite is basically uh, usually I I have installed I mean STS plugin in my Eclipse Mars itself I haven't downloaded a separate uh, STS uh, what uh, I have shown in this video tutorial so if you have a already existing uh, Eclipse then you go to the market Eclipse marketplace and here uh, basically you can search for the STS and you can uh, install uh, STS plugin in your uh, existing Eclipse itself and that will work like a very much similar to the STS itself so here if you search for the STS right now here you can see the STS and you can install STS in your existing Eclipse itself and that will become equivalent to uh, STS itself right so that's all uh, I wanted to show you in this video tutorial so almost we have almost covered all topics uh, which uh, I have listed in this uh, uh, I have listed in this uh, uh, slide except one thing uh, CLI so those things I'll cover in the uh, separate video itself so uh, I'm very much sure now you can create a I mean a Spring Boot application using a simple by creating the simple maven based project in eclipse uh, but uh, if you create uh, i mean a spring boot application uh, by creating the simple maven based project uh, using eclipse then you will have to add manually all dependency in your pom.xml and that's the tedious for the developer so you either you can use sts tool or you can go to the spring initializer and there you can specify the all information and finally you need to click on the generate project and that project will be generated in the form of zip and zip fill file you can uh, store in a hard disk and you can unzip it and you can uh, uh, import in your uh, favorite id and that way you can uh, create a spring boot application as well so that is the convenient approach so thanks for watching this video and uh, I think in this uh, demo uh, I have just created a very simple application so this code I'm not going to put on the github right so in this my intention was to show you how to make use of the STS how to download and uh, how to make use of the STS so STS is also called uh, a spring tool suit right so uh, this is basically used to create a, a spring boot application so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial